this is the card game where you go forward but believe me when i say this the more you go forward the better the game gets we all know what we're doing here i hope they give me some kind of tutorials i have no idea oh nice <laughs> perfect welcome to your first game of forward goal is to beat this dungeon by moving from card to card at the bottom you'll find your character's card okay i look pretty sick cards you move on will have different effects in front of you is a shield card click on it to see its effect it gives you two armor would have never guessed that how do i move oh okay here's where you can find hp it must always remain above zero otherwise you lose the game okay i wouldn't have guessed that myself your armor will take the damage before your hp is depleted there's no limit to your shield durability there are gold coins in front of you move your character over to this car to loot it yes money you have entered the field of vision of an enemy so they attacked you and inflicted five damage you lost two armor and durability and three hp enemies will always attack if you move in front of them it is up to you to be careful not to be seen be aware however that enemies you defeat will leave behind rewards for you to loot the more powerful the enemy the better their rewards okay this is kind of interesting so this is two damage so the amount of healing damage and durability you get is in the corner all right so we can take the three shield for this it's like i gained two life there so i get two gold coins from this what the fuck is that a scarecrow jesus if i do this i get two life back i get to take the damage and then i get to go to the shield instead of fighting this dude so it's probably fine I feel like I want the money though. Hello, I like money. A mana potion card has just appeared. Mana is a resource that will allow you to use your special power. I always knew I had a special power. Click on your power to see its effect. Click two damage to visible enemies. Cost four mana points. So we probably want that. I'll take the shield. Three shields, nice. Note that you can only reach cards that are in direct contact with you, diagonal and orthogonal. This means that when you are on one side, you cannot reach the other. What an interesting way of doing a card game. I have the mana potion that seems good an item had just appeared you can click on it to see what passive effect it gives you try to reach and add it to your inventory and gain its effect some items are rarer and more powerful than others they can change a game and your strategy holy moly this guy looks pretty spooky i do want this could probably fight this guy though it's only two damage but if i fight this i take the damage from this do i want to take the damage from this i i can't even get it so it's probably not worth it so let's go this way a heal i'll definitely grab the mana ring poison kind of have to grab it though right you have moved to a poison card that has inflicted a status on you that has our effects positive or negative that only lasts for a few moves you're displayed on your character with an indication of the number of moves left before it disappears the poison will inflict one damage after your next two moves mana potion seems good i take the two and then i can go to the healing potion this fights and then we fight back we get the healing potion which is good powerful enemy just appeared what the hell is that it's a boss bars are marked with a crown at the end of each dungeon you will meet a boss that you'll have to defeat always plan to keep your health and armor as high as possible in anticipation of this fight so that i take nine damage okay this is just the tutorial so i win this i get a heart well done you've defeated the boss thank you you can now play a real game i thought this was a real game how'd you find this game i have no idea i was just scrolling through steam dude a devilish presence your vision becomes blurred a demonic presence is close by you open your eyes wide and see a black shadow not only it launches itself towards you i will devour your dreams and your soul not just my dreams unlucky what the fuck is that mana potion is good again i think i'm what is this powerless too you can no longer use your power i don't want to take poison i like the gold coin here this is three i could take three mana for four damage okay i'm gonna go with money i didn't get to see what money actually did get money I can heal i can fight cast from league of legends or some random ass tree i inflict a lot more damage so maybe this is just better and then i get the healing potion after okay when you attack an enemy you receive skulls that can be used to buy items heal me gold coins for three or i could fight this idiot that gives me two into this you get three oh no i like the four gold and i'm not really sure what they do mana potion not worth it i'll do this let's do this this is kind of sick i'm not gonna lie i really like the 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 play pattern of this game okay let's do this okay i kind of took it in the ass there if i'm gonna be honest but it's fine only take two damage back we'll devour your souls in your dream okay he's gonna do nine i need to heal up so the only thing i can actually do here is do this into this because i need to live living is important i live easy clap medicinal plant i didn't realize they were doing marijuana in my card game shiny sword add three sword cards in all future levels i wonder what that does probably increase my damage all healing potion cards heal you from poison see so five coins and blindness when starting a level i want to do the sword 
New card on I lost. Let's go. I lost the night. You get three armor durability and blindness too when starting a level. The soothing lake. You arrive at the edge of a small lake where the air is pure. It's perfectly round. Appearance makes you think that this is not natural. You're drawn to it and receive its benefits as you dive in. Ooh, full healing sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Have you guys ever seen this game before? Like, it was, I just, did I just find a gold mine? I've never played a card game like this before where you like drag it over. I love the, I love the way it plays. Fasted forest. You discreetly hide behind a huge tree to observe a group of nearby enemies. Sudden noise resounds above you and you make you raise your head. They're in the trees. <laughs> Time to fight. Holy moly. Okay, money. Ooh, we can see a sword. Okay, let's get this sword. Oh, I didn't get to read what that did, but it did two damage to all enemies inside. I think that's what it did. A golden chest. I will take the shield. What do the golden chests have for me? Adds one merchant chest card in all future levels. Potions can cure your view of blindness. Um, I'm going to do this because I feel like the buying is going to be pretty important. We can take the three here. It's fine. I will take the money instead of the shield. This. I take the two anyways. The question is, do I want to go forward? I could take five probably is an insane amount of damage, but if I'm take the five, I'm literally forced to take the two damage here, which I'm not sure if I really want to damage, I guess, and get this. The two is probably not worth it for one gold. So I'll just grab this. I will take the healing. So the sword will do one damage to both of these, or I take the healing. would like to grab this, but I don't think I can, right? I guess we're taking this. Oh, the sword lowers the amount of damage they're going to do to me because I'm defending myself. Ah, see that? Now we're cooking. I will take this. I'll take this. We'll fight. Take three. There's a chest. Oh, a sword. So he does nothing. Let's go. Uh, chest probably is better than the sword because they're only doing one damage, which I don't really need to worry about. Poison cards consume all your skulls and inflict as much damage to visible enemies. That seems like a pretty decent item. I will be grabbing that. So if I do this, oh, protection. I want money. I like money. Protection's for losers. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, so if I use this, it lowers his damage. Okay. Take the heart. Ethereal shields. The next enemy you attack will not inflict any damage. When your gold total is even, reduce the price of purchases by five gold coins. Pineapple. Any healing card gives you greed. Grants you plus two gold to gold coins. I feel like this is going to not be that great. No, I'll take the pineapple. Pineapple seems like it's the best one. Divine light, a bright ray from the sky seems to touch the ground not far from you. It disappears as you approach it as its location stands object. Excuse me. Not an object. Ethereal sword. The next sword you card you pick up will do twice as much damage. Yes, sir. A healthy diet, a goblin spots you and heads towards you. He doesn't have time to take two steps before his head is turned by a powerful jaws of Cer Cerebus. Isn't that the three-headed dog? Yeah, yeah. You're next on his list. Oh my god. Okay, let's relax here, dude. Yeah, I'm a 13 life because I didn't full heal. So let's plan this out. Poison's not bad for me. I actually think the potion here is kind of sick. I'll take three for the potion because we get the heal after, which is nice. And I get the money. And I get this. I have to take this. Uh, I will be taking. Uh, this is actually not bad, right? Take the two and then the healing. Ooh, emergent chest. Oh, this is where my money comes in. So I have 32 gold. Okay, I can get when you attack an enemy, you gain stealth too. stealth enemies no longer attack you. Very interesting. Add one chest card for each corrupted item in your inventory in all future levels. When you attack an enemy, you gain one mana. Ooh, I'm going to grab that. All poison cards give you two armor durability. Damn, when attacking, oh, sorry, when an enemy dies without attacking or being attacked, you gain one skull. Adds one chest card in all future levels. I'll take the poison armor. That looks like a demon boy. I could just take the weapon. I don't really need the heal, or the, the gold, sorry. Get this, golden chest, yes sir. And starting a level heals you by one HP for each 10 skulls you have. I have no skulls. All mana potion cards inflict two damage. Ooh. When you use your power, inflict one damage to all visible enemies for each corrupted item in your inventory. Do I have any? None of my items are corrupted, so let's do this. I guess I could take that for future, but like, fuck that. I'm, I'm always stoked when he invites me, and this is kind of sick, right? I don't know if I pick up the money though when that happens. I guess I don't. I can kind of plan around this, because this is good. This attacks, we'll see what he gives me. Fight cast him, because I don't want to take the five, right? Ooh, that's a big boy. I like the shield, but I can't grab it. I think I'd take the mana potion here. I mean, I, I've, I'm, I'm not going to die anyway, so we're fine. Okay, what do we got? Increases the chance that the enemy's loot is a mana potion card. I don't know if I want. Yo, it's the nut. <laughs> I want to see what blindness is. Increase the chance that the enemy's loot is a shield card. I kind of want to take the nut. I, I like nuts. Enter or die. You feel the weight of your eyelids getting heavier and then you collapse to the floor. When you wake up, you face a door where enter or die is written in blood. Holy shit. You must face what is behind the door. Oh, 
Your soul will be extinguished? God, I don't I don't know how these characters in these video games do this, man. I'd be losing my Oh, so blindness doesn't actually tell you how much you're getting. I now understand. I will be taking the money. Money. <laughs> Plus four baby. No need to fight this. Four poison? No, thank you. We'll be taking the healing. I will be doing this. Mana. Okay, so we can do this right now to inflict the mana potion. We can then do this. And then I think we take the two. Then I take the mana potion again. The question is, why would I fight anything here? Dude, these, these guys are getting kind of big now. I'm a little scared. Uh, I could take six, right? Surely. Yeah, because we just lose the shield. I have some skulls. What about this damage? I want to get to the merchant chest. What do you do? Powerless. Take the healing. We could take the shield. We can go shield, gold, this. I think that's the best. Definitely going here. I have 20 money. Inflicts one damage to you. Corruptor card has a negative effect. I was going to be like, why would I ever want that? The starting level heals you by one HP for each 10 skulls you have. Gain less one to enemy loot card. Mm, that could be really good. I'm going to take that, I think. I think that's really strong. This, this, this. There's Cassidy again. I don't think we really need to fight Cassidy. We only have 10 money. Refreshing status gives you plus one armor durability after each move. The gold coin cards have 30% chance of giving you one mana pot. Not the worst thing to miss, I guess. Shield, fight those. This gives me three coins. I could take the four or I could take the six right now. If I take the six right now, well, I, got, I got to take six at some point. The question is, do I want to take the four or the six? I guess I take the four instead. Oh, this actually isn't this is, this will do four because i do the sword and then the sword doesn't kill me and then we can full heal thank god i might as well just use this okay holy moly all right we're so in uh the weed is back add one shield card to all future level i actually really like that idea rune temple you're nervously enter for rune temple an altar made of black stone stands at the end of the nave nave on which is inscribed in blood ink the god of the living will know how to reward the one who offers him his blood what in the fuck reduce your power by one mana point for each corrupted item i don't have any this is six life as long as you have stealth so i have to, i don't want to take any of these Ooh, that could have been really good ugly creatures as you take the path that winds through the valley you are targeted by a group of hideous creatures there's no other option but to fight them <laughs> i don't know why but i feel like if if I'm going against this thing and it literally just said in plain English, hungry, it would be fucking hysterical. Yeah, I'm blind again, I forgot. So in this case, I will take the money into the mana potion. I'm gonna fight this because I kind of want the skulls. Ooh, hold on. I should have thought this through. Seven damage is actually quite a lot of damage. But we already here, right? I don't can't even buy these, fuck. Yeah, I'm not gonna look at it because it's just gonna make me depressed. I kill the dragon. I want the shield. The shield's kind of nice. I don't know how greedy I really want to be. Five shields, kind of nice. Just for free. And I get to potentially get the money. Five monies? I want the merchant chest, but my god, I feel like it's a bait. Take the three, I do this. No, okay, let's do this. I'll take the six here. Oh, fuck. Okay, he only does one though, because I take the sword. One is pretty sick. Five shields or the six? Oh my god, I'm going to take the, I'm going to take this. Unless it's, oh! What the fuck is that? I think I'm fighting the giant. Rushing for the money. That's good. I gotta take this through. Do I want money or do I want healing? Eight, 13. Okay, we're fine. Hungry. <laughs> Easy clap. You're immune to blindness. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Adds one protection card for each corrupted item in your inventory and all future levels. Increases the chance that the enemy's loot is a shield card. I'm going to grab the oil lamp because then that means at the start of the game, I don't have the blindness anymore. It in passage, a complex system of cogs blocks the door. After several hours, you inadvertently put your hand on a colored stone, which activates the opening system. Upon entering, you discover a room filled with the ancient jewels. And then I will bleed. I really like bleeding. Blue stone. When starting a level, you lose all your mana and gain protection for. Randomly replace all shield cards with healing potion mana cards and go. I don't know if I want that. Mead. When you buy a card, you get two immunity. Lose all mana. So as long as I use my mana before the end of the game, I think that's fine. Enemy dies without attacking or being attacked. You gain plus one skull. Take the six healing. I think this is actually good. Do this into this. Oh, I didn't realize he was right there. Oh my god, I almost threw that for content, bro. Dark forest, the deeper you go into this dark forest, the numerous and gigantic are the spider webs. The disturbing noises you hear leave no doubt you are ready to fight. God, I'm, I'm glad this game is so confident, man. I wouldn't be this confident. I will devour you. Okay, how about we relax? Eight damage. God damn, man. Goblin man is angry today. Do this. 
Holy fuck, that's a lot of dudes. Well, I could take this damage, but then he's gonna do eight to me after. Question, how, I don't think I need to be greedy. I'm being, I'm getting taken the Dunnies regardless of what I do here. What does this guy do? Five poison though. Oh my God, I need to go this way. I gotta take nine and a seven. God, this is so bad. What happened, dude? We were chilling. Do I go here and then I take the seven? If I take the seven, this dies and I'm gonna get greedy and I want this. I wasn't supposed to know about this though. This is the mana potion, which could be relevant. It's also deal seven. Okay. I need to grab every healing item possible. I want the chest though. Okay, I'm taking the chest. I'm greedy. I might actually have to take the weed now. I can also take both here. That's kind of, kind of not bad, right? Okay, let's do that. Grab this. Well, shield theoretically is better. You do anything for me, you're just an imp. It was looking a little spooky there. Depending on what he gives. Okay. I think I do this, take the five, take the two, and then get the mana potion. Okay, take five. I don't want to use your power. I don't really need to use my power at the moment. I don't really want to take poison. The potion's fine. Kind of spooky, so let's go this way. Ooh, a castle. What's that? A castle in the distance seems to emanate an extraordinary magical power. I'm going there. Oh, look at this little sub area. Bro, this game is fire. What? Holy moly, man. It's weird that there's just a merchant chest here, though. And there's a guy just sitting in here. Okay, 25 for that. He gives plus one to healing cards and potion cards. You gain plus three gold when you start a level. Honestly, the honey's kind of nice. But I think the one extra life is probably better in the grand scheme of the game. This, let's take this. Ignore the spider if I can. Chest of the dead? Yeah. So that way, okay. Enemies won't attack you if you don't have. Okay, so that punished me for not killing stuff. So there is a little bit of risk and reward in this game, unfortunately for me. It's pretty nuts. Oh my God. What is that? New character unlocked. You can now choose this character for your next game. The Black Knight. The Hearthstone cards in another game. All right, then we're back. Bro, you're nothing to me. Get out of my face, bitch. When you attack an enemy, you earn four gold coins. When you receive skulls, receive gold coins instead. When you start a level, you heal the one HP for each 10 skulls. Okay, so this is probably the best just because it encourages me to kill stuff. Demonic era or era or a fear grips you as you feel a magical demonic aura emanating from the field in front of you. You know, you reached your goal. Oh my God, what in the fuck? Man, I got a lot of items. We don't need healing. Money's good. As long as you have stealth, give it, okay. Take the heart, we'll leave. I like money. I, can, I think I can fight this. Okay, hold on, I might regret this decision. I think I'm regretting this decision. Oh, we are so regretting this. Actually, hold on. In that case, I think it was very worth it. Oh my God, am I gonna die here? Oh, we're fine. Money, money. The seven, yeah, yeah. Do I want to fight Cassidy? Oh, why not? I feel like we're in a really good spot. I can take the five here, I think. Uh, take the seven. <laughs> Dude, I don't know why. Imagine just. <laughs> You're so confident to fight me and you just get absolutely destroyed. The gold coins cards have 20% chance to heal you by, oh, chests give you five gold and blindness too. Okay. Reduce the purchase price by 20 gold coins, but each purchase also gives you a random corrupted item. I like the ruby. Just getting gold is kind of nice. Welcome to Gatlinburg. The town of Gatlinburg is on the horizon. The hospitality of the inhabitants of this town is known in all the regions. You go there to take a well-deserved rest. Thank God, man. Oh man. Gives minus one enemy cards and plus four to bosses. No thought, no shot. All poison cards also give you two armor durability. Big shield for three gold. 
Tomato. Heals you by three HP when you start a level. Plus one of sword cards. You get one stealth after being attacked by an enemy. Hmm. The stealth mechanic could be really good, but I have to think about what else is there. Jewelry store. You get two greed after being attacked by an enemy. After using your power, you get a new. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm cut. Let's try that. I wonder how good that actually is. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore all this. Okay, here we go. The will. Your battle with the demon is never ending. You are exhausted, but the strength of willpower guides your legs to charge your enemy one last time. Be brave. You force me to go to the next level. Die. Okay. How about you relax here, buddy? Good squid monster. See this. Do this. Let's do this. Money. I want the mana potion because I would like to use it and see what I get. Yeah, let's use it. What do I got? What is this now? Consume three gold coins to heal yourself one HP until you are fully healed. That could actually come in handy, especially because this is the last level. Proves the effect of greed by three. See five gold coins and blindness when starting a level. Another eat my money I think but and this says little bitch I take minus three for armor but I gain seven and I can potentially get something really good here okay we take those six shields we go this way I take the eight after this seems kind of bad I think I attack and go to the right Ooh. well shit He's giving me poison. Is this just the safest route? I think it is. Oh, that was huge. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, easy. Get your fucking get out of my game, dude. Oh my God, we did it. Damage taken, gold coins collected, collected skulls, boss eliminated. Victory, bitch. Let's go.